Hello, uh, today in this session uh, we are going to discuss about uh, microeconomics and uh, central problems of an economy. The whole subject matter of economics we can classify into two main categories. Number one is microeconomics and secondly macroeconomics and uh, I will speak on uh, macroeconomics in some uh, other upcoming video in this video uh, I will uh, speak on microeconomics only Microeconomics uh, is the study of the behavior of individual economic units. Thus, uh, we can say microeconomics uh, refers to the study of scarcity and uh, choice problems facing an uh, individual unit let me give you some examples uh, for ex instance say economic activities uh, or the choice problems concerning a consumer uh, a producer a firm then uh, say or an industry and uh, uh, you know the study of individual income or uh, the, the determination of product price and uh, say uh, factor price come under the uh, scope of microeconomics There are different components of uh, uh, microeconomics. You can say different parts of microeconomics. Uh, say uh, in the in the number one place, we can say about the price theory. Okay, so price theory price theory uh, is divided into two parts. Uh, uh, number one is uh, product pricing and uh, secondly number two is factor pricing now let me briefly mention the importance of uh, microeconomics uh, first of all uh, it provides a better understanding of the decision process of producers and consumers in an, an economy uh, in the secondly we can say it uh, also helps to explain the situations and conditions of uh, efficiency in consumption and production thirdly uh, we can also say that uh, it helps in examining uh, and suggesting uh, conditions for welfare optimization uh, or an economic efficiency in a perfectly competitive environment. Uh, next, we can say. Uh, uh, it, uh, it is helpful uh, in efficient allocation of scarce resources among, uh, among competing ends in the economy. Next, uh, uh, we can say that it is also helpful in understanding the basis 
and uh, gains of international trade. Now, uh, let me explain about the central problems of an economy. Before I discuss about the central problems of an economy, let me briefly explain what is an economy. We have to know what is an economy first. An economy is an area of the production, distribution and trade as well as uh, uh, consumption of goods and uh, services by different agents. Thus, uh, we can say that uh, an economy uh, is a system of organization and uh, institutions that either facilitate uh, or play a role in the production and distribution of uh, goods and services in a country. Economists determine uh, how resources are distributed uh, among members of a society. They determine the value of uh, uh, goods and services and uh, they even determine uh, what sorts of things uh, uh, can be traded or bartered uh, for those services or goods. There are uh, three big economic systems uh, in use by modern governments. Uh, we, uh, they are capitalist economy, then socialist economy, and uh, mixed economic systems. Uh, now let me briefly explain each of them. Uh, capitalism is a market-based system actually, where individuals own uh, all resources. And, uh, and in pure capitalism, the only role of the government is to enforce the rules of the marketplace, preventing illegal activity from uh, destabilizing the economy and uh, to protect the property rights of individuals. Socialist economy uh, comprises the economic theories and uh, practices and uh, norms of hypothetical and existing socialist economic systems. The term uh, socialist means uh, actually a system uh, under which economic systems uh, controlled and regulated by the government so as uh, to ensure welfare and equal opportunity to the people in the society the word the word socialism means all things to all men according to samuel chen Socialism uh, refers to the government 
ownership of the means of production planning uh, by the government and uh, income distribution uh, some of the features of uh, socialist economies economy are say collective ownership then economic and uh, political equality then uh, economic planning then uh, no competition positive role of government work and wages according to the ability uh, maximum social welfare etc etc mixed economy uh, in economics uh, is a market system of resource allocation commerce and trade uh, in which uh, free market coexist with government intervention a combination of free market principle of uh, private contracting and a socialist principle of a state ownership or uh, planning is uh, common to all mixed economy now i am going to uh, speak on uh, the central problems of an economy the problem of choice arises on account of the pressure of three interrelated facts that is human ones are unlimited means required to satisfy these ones are limited and means have alternative uses there would be no problem if the scarce means had only a single use thus whenever the problems of choice and scarcity arise economics is said to be emerged economists have identified a number of central and basic economic problems that are faced by all societies and all countries some of the major economic problems or central problems are what to produce then how to produce for whom to produce then full utilization of resources attainment of uh, maximum economic efficiency and uh, and uh, we can say growth of the economy out of uh, all these central problems three are main what to produce how to produce and from for whom to produce now let me briefly explain one by one uh, first of all what to produce okay this is uh, perhaps the most fundamental economic problem of all countries it is concerned with identification of those goods and services which are to be produced by a country
or an economy. A country generally produces a number of goods like uh, say uh, cloth, medicine, food items, cosmetics, machines, etc. etc. A country has to answer first what to produce. The answer of this question depends on uh, the type of the economic system. In capitalist economy uh, or uh, say in market economy, uh, consumers expenditure patterns help to answer the question helps to answer this question okay the goods and services uh, on which consumers or the customers are willing to spend their money should be produced in a centrally planned economy or say in socialism or in socialistic economy where consumers are not having so much uh, freedom the government decides on the selection of goods and services for production now the second question is how to produce after the decision uh, regarding the goods to be produced uh, it uh, or the decision is taken the next problem arises uh, what technique what technique uh, should be adopted uh, to produce the commodities in the economy the economy has to decide uh, between automatic machine or uh, say hand handcrafts handicrafts so to answer this question uh, there are two answers either to use capital intensive technique or labor intensive technique if your economy is having abundant labor supply or your country's population is very high then you should go for the obviously the labor intensive technique on the other hand if you are having a uh, labor supply problem then you should go for the uh, capital intensive technique uh, the third question the third problem is uh, for whom to produce goods and services produced in an economy uh, are consumed by its citizens uh, the individuals may belong to uh, uh, may belong to uh, we can economically weaker section or uh, rich class of people so the, in case of capitalism uh, the decision is taken uh, on the basis of uh, the purchasing power of the customers or consumers whereas in socialism or socialistic economy uh, the government takes the decision regarding uh, goods and services to be produced in the economy uh, this is done according to the requirement of the individuals.
the fourth problem is the problem of resource allocation production of goods and services is always constrained by the scarcity of relevant resources when uh, resources are scarce uh, one would expect that they are utilized fully but there are examples in uh, different countries of underutilization of resources what are the reasons for such unemployment or underutilization of resources of productive resources is a big challenge or question that uh, economists try to answer then uh, number five uh, the problem of efficiency productive resources at the disposal of a country may be utilized uh, but this itself is not a guarantee that they are being utilized in most desirable manner the goods and services that are produced are said to be inefficiently distributed if it would be possible to redistribute them among the individuals in the country and make at least one person better off without, without simultaneously making anyone worse off. Then uh, I would like to mention about the sixth problem I'd like to briefly just explain the sixth problem of an economy is uh, uh, the, the problem of growth the problem of growth of an economy the problem of growth of an economy uh, is quite serious uh, in most of the countries uh, particularly uh, say uh, underdeveloped and uh, uh, developing ones uh, now let us understand what does this uh, uh, the term growth mean actually what is growth economic growth by growth we mean increase in productive capacity and actual production of goods and services from year to year uh, economists have to make all efforts to think about uh, growth of an economy it is not very easy to achieve uh, the objective of growth uh, of the economy uh, there will be several constraints 
uh, to this which are to be removed uh, what is to be the rate of growth what is the appropriate way to achieve growth then uh, of the economy uh, these are actually uh, vital questions for which uh, uh, a country uh, must have to find the answers these uh, problems and uh, issues are studied uh, under the theories of uh, economic development and growth the problems uh, so far I have discussed are very fundamental and uh, you know very common to all kinds of economies in the world uh, the first two problems uh, what to produce uh, then for whom to uh, for uh, how to produce and uh, for whom to produce these three problems uh, together uh, forming a trilogy of uh, you know uh, economic problems uh, so uh, these are normally considered more fundamental and uh, then the other three, the remaining three problems, uh, we have to emphasize that uh, all of them are equal importance. They are of equal importance in the context of uh, contemporary economic complexities. Uh, every nation's resources are insufficient because the resources are limited uh, these are limited uh, to produce the quantities of goods and services that would be you know that would be required uh, to satisfy the uh, to satisfy all the ones uh, of its citizens uh, with this uh, we came to the end of this uh, video session uh, before concluding this uh, session uh, we can say the basic that the basic economic problems of uh, different countries are solved in different ways in different patterns by customs uh, instinct then uh, say uh, fiat and degree degree uh, and largely by the system as a whole with this uh, I would like to end this session Thank you.